Hey, is this your first time? I'm Kyle and I'm one half of the Wandering Shores. So you're here today to find out more about Pilot Knob LTVA, long-term visitor area just outside Yuma, Arizona, across the state border in California. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this long-term visitor area, as well as share some of the amenities that are in the area. Alright, so I'm out here on the exit ramp, or just north of the exit ramp here on Sidewinder Road. This is the exit you're going to get off on. Let me show you here. This is I-8 running basically from San Diego to Phoenix or beyond. That direction over there would be east towards Yuma, Arizona. This direction would be west towards San Diego. You can see the sand dunes over on the horizon. So you're going to get off at Sidewinder road and depending upon what direction you're going to come from you're going to head south towards the uh, pilot knob blm boondocking area okay so i'm going to take you in so the interstate is right back that direction you're coming south off of i-8 and you're going to be going from the concrete road to the gravel road it's very easy there's a little bit of washboarding but it's not bad All right, we are here, Pilot Knob LTVA. So, like most LTVAs, the season goes from September 15th to April 15th. So you can either get a pass for the entire season and that's $180 and you can park and camp here unlimited for that seven months or you can go to any of the other LTVAs that are in the area. If you haven't seen my video on Imperial Dam LTVA, I'll put a link in the video description below. But this one, couple things to know. Number one, there is no dump and no water here at this LTVA, unlike Imperial Dam. There is, uh, however, a garbage cans that you have access to. The dump is going to be at the Chevron station. I'm gonna take you in the video and show you that here shortly. And then the water is accessible down about eight miles west of here uh, at the rest area near Imperial Sand Dunes recreation area if the chevron hasn't turned the water on yet right now there is no water over there so um, the two-week permit is forty dollars so you have the option of either two-week permits or the year-long permit which is 180 and that's really up to you and i'm going to take you through one thing that you'll notice if you've been to other ltvas this one is really not that busy considering we're in the middle of the winter here and in a very nice climate i mean it's mid 70s right now um, but this is a lot more wide open. Uh, there's no real identifiable roads, and you'll see that as we drive through here, but there's tons and tons of uh, boondocking available. One thing I forgot to mention is that if you're a light sleeper, there is a train track just north of I-8 that can get pretty loud overnight, so be advised you might want to park as far back in the LTVA area as possible. All right, I'm here over at the Chevron station at the exit there on Sidewinder Road. I wanted to show you the dump station that you have access to. Again, right now it is February 18th, 2023. So these are all time sensitive prices, but the dump station costs $10 to dump regardless of the size of your rig. Um, it traditionally is 15, but they don't actually have any running water right now. So it is, it is $10 right now, but normally it is 15. Here is the dump station. There's a sign over here, untreated well water, not state approved for drinking, um, but that's completely turned off. And then here's the dump station on the side of the Chevron station. So that's one option you have for dump. Now, if you need water, so for example, the water here, here isn't working, down what is west, you uh, come probably about eight miles and there is a rest area right near Imperial Sand Dunes Recreation Area and they have free water there. So 
So hopefully you could probably see there is tons and tons of wide open camping here. A lot of it is pretty flat. You're not going to have a hard time finding a spot. Um, what, last, I guess, the close, one thing that people want to know is how is the internet connection? And we can speak to T-Mobile and for Verizon, and it is fantastic. We've got a Verizon hotspot, and we're getting probably 40 or 50 down on it at least. And with T-Mobile, um, we're getting, you know, probably 5G service here on our phone. So, And as you can see, there's not a lot of trees around, so you don't have too many obstructions when it comes to Starlink. So we've got our Starlink right up there on the roof and uh, you know we're getting uh, we're residential with roaming turned on but this is we're able to move our residents here and we're getting 180 down or something like that so it's incredible so hopefully this camp site review was helpful for you and if you have any questions put them in the comments below we love our LTVA areas and we're more than happy to answer any questions you might have about them thanks everyone see you next week